Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and this is episode 28 of An Englishman Abroad, A Journeyman Story. We've done the first few games of the league season, so let's have a look at the results. And the intro. And we start with our opening day trip to Ewood Park to take on Blackburn Rovers. We beat them by a goal to nil. As you can see, Harry Maguire scored the only goal of the game. Let's take a look at that goal. So Jamie Vardy had missed a penalty at this point in the game. Harry Maguire unmarked to head in and break Blackburn Hearts four minutes from time. We then welcomed Manchester United to the King Power Stadium and were beaten by two goals to nil. Let's take a look at the goals for United. Paul Pogba opened the scoring for Manchester United. A good work down the right-hand side. Played into Pogba, who wasn't closed down on the edge of the box, to score. And then a calamitous moment for Ben Chilwell coming up. Good play for Manchester United. Alexis Sanchez plays it across. Chilwell tries to tap it back to the goalkeeper. Jesse Lingard runs in to seal Manchester United's win. We then bounced back against one of the other newly promoted sides, Stoke City, James Madison, with the only goal of the game in added time at the end of the second half. Let's take a look at his goal. It was a ball wide to Dennis Mann. Got the ball into the box. Silla with the shot, save. Madison quickest to react at the second attempt to put the ball into the net to give Leicester a 1-0 win. We then followed that up with a 2-0 win over Newcastle United. Let's take a look at the goals from it. Dennis Mann opened the scoring for us. Ball across initially from him to Rebic, who played it back with interest. Headed away by the defender, but Mann with a lovely volley into the corner for 1-0. Newcastle then had a man sent off. Ki Sung Yong was booked for the second time in the game for a nasty foul on Rebic. That really swung the game in our favour. We then won the game in the 64th minute through Alexander Izak. Ben Chilwell with a good run forward from left back. Unopposed. Plays it into Rebic. Who fired it into the middle. Izak with the volley into the net. To give us a 2-0 win. We then took on Watford in the second round of the Carabao Cup. And won by two goals to one. Let's take a look at the goals from it. Jamie Vardy put us in front in the 26th minute. Good ball in for Mazuaku. Good turn from Vardy. Good finish as well for 1-0. We made it 2 in the 76th minute. Good ball in from Mendy on the right-hand side. Silla with the shot to give us a 2-0 lead. Watford did peg us back immediately, however, to bring it back to 2-1. Zarko with the ball on the right-hand side, playing it towards the far post. No challenge from our player as Pedro pulled a goal back but it wasn't enough for Watford and they were eliminated we could have stayed at Watford because we played him again in the league following that Alex Oxlade Chamberlain with the only goal let's take a look at it and it was a goal worthy of winning any game to be honest I didn't expect Alex Oxlade Chamberlain to have this in his locker Rebic with the ball in the middle of the box and a lovely finish into the top corner you don't expect those from Alex Oxlade Chamberlain to give us a 1-0 win over Watford. So, stop the season now, I think would be my cry. We are sixth. We are in the last Europa League place with 12 points from five games. Four wins out of five. The only defeat coming against Manchester United. Our reward for beating Watford is a trip to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to take on Spurs in the third round of the League Cup. A repeat of the 1999 Worthington Cup final. I remember it well. Taking a closer look at the Premier League table, so Manchester United and Manchester City lead the way on 15 points apiece. Wolves are up into the top four, as are Middlesbrough, newly promoted. They've got the same amount as us as four wins from five. Down at the bottom, Blackburn and Leeds are winless and pointless. Bournemouth, Burnley and Stoke are yet to register a win either. It's worth pointing out we have quite a big injury problem. Harry Maguire is out and has been for a few weeks. He pulled up 
very early on in the season. So he's out for another three to four weeks after seeing the specialist with a lower stress fracture in his back. Ouch. So as starts go, I'm happy with that. Losing to Manchester United, the only blot on the copybook so far. But we have got a long, long way to go. But it's a good start nonetheless. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so, please hit the subscribe button down the corner. That was episode 28 of An Englishman Abroad, A Journeyman Story. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.